Brother, are you going to go under the skirt? Well, this is something that the professionals who deal with issues of magic and evil eye and jinn possession and whatnot. And I wanted to see if this is an issue that they've actually dealt with on a professional level. So I got in touch with Ustad Muhammad Timbhambu Hafidhullah Ta'ala, who is an expert in the field of Ruqya and exorcism mm. uh, pertaining to the Islamic sciences and how Islam deals with it, because that's really the only way to deal with it. Um, in fact, it is the only way to deal with it. Anything else is leading to kufr or shirk. Uh, and he was trained by one of the best, if not the best, um, you know. Anyway. What you can say, we have a Muslim. <laughs> Let us see if we can call him. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Hello, Nasser, how are you? Uh, alhamdulillah, I'm good. So you are a Muslim, Mr. Nasser? I'm... I'm like, I've been listening to your, um, <clears throat> your video. I've been watching your videos and stuff and I checked the source and stuff and I was really shocked. I, before you, I discovered a David Wood channel. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, I checked, you know, I was like on and off. I was like, I don't know. I'm just like, and then I, I just thought for a bit, but then, <clears throat> but then, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just shocked to to um, bring in to listen to all of this. Like you know, even I myself, I used to study. Uh, I used to study study a uh, hafiz. You know, hafiz. I memorize. I used to memorize up to uh, I don't know how much mm -hmm. half, half the Quran. Okay. And but when when hearing this, it's like it it, it just shook me. Like I kind of lose my iman and. It, like the only thing that kept me uh, believing, if you can maybe clarify, clarify for me, like uh, Muhammad prediction, uh, his prediction of the, you know how the minor and major sign, it seemed like it's like happening right now. So you think Muhammad is a prophet? Uh, well, we're not like. Like for a Muslim, we we believe, we believe that yeah, Muhammad is a is a prophet. Yeah, but you said the the minor sign and they are happening. Like what? Like I don't know. I, I it's been a long time. I I didn't uh, like I forgot. I I just forgot about the minor sign, major minor sign. Okay, I, I we can go. He, we can okay, go what? over them, and we will see that this is not true, because Muhammad. Uh, <clears throat> let me let me show you some of those. You know, we can show you all. Give me a second. Do I look on, do I look on the YouTube because I'm on my, my phone? Uh, yeah, but we can read it. It's okay. Okay. Um... Let us see. If we go to the hadith and we will choose some authentic ones. Uh, let us see. Can, can you send me the, the link too? Yeah, let me just first find it. Okay. As an example, <clears throat> Muhammad, he said, and, and I assume you speak Arabic, right? No, I, I, I don't speak Arabic. So you memorize the Quran, but I, you don't I, speak Arabic? No, yeah, I, I remember. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right, I understand. So look what Muhammad, he said. And he said that in his time. Uh, he said, Yushiku al-Furat and Yahsir, the Furat, the Euphrates, very soon, Yushik, not soon, very, very soon. It will uncover on a mountain of gold. And he who present, they should not take anything from that. How mm. truthful is that? Mm. 
Yushik right. is not something will happen long from now. It is something very soon. Mm -hmm. And this is since 1400 years ago. And Euphrates, uh, actually not a dry, but uh, the, because the Turkish, they put, uh, they built, I think, two or three dams. So it's, it's still running. It's still a big river. Uh, will, will never be dry. But in Iraq, they are suffering from drought because the Turkish are staying all the water. So Muhammad, he made a false prophecy claiming that this would happen. And this is the hour. This is the minor signs. Let us go for something else. Uh, how about I guess I, I listened to like a, a sheikh on YouTube it was a long back. It was a while back. He said something. He predicts something like uh, the the carpets like he, he's saying that the carpets like uh, is a fitna saying that it's like it might be like a flat screen TV or something like that. And then he also said the fitna would be like how much he ear, predict the flat screen TV? <laughs> That's what that's what I know. That, I know it sounds funny, but well, show me the hadith so we can look. This is absolutely I, false. I, 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 I don't know the hadith, but there's a, a sheikh I, I watched a, a long a while back, and he say yeah. all this. He's, he's saying all of this, you know, like he, his uh, prediction or something like that. I know there's tons of videos, but you, if you if you check one by one, you will see how false they are. Uh, let, let us go and see some. Uh, reference uh, what Muhammad he said about the judgment day there is a big signs and small signs as you said mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, this is al-Bukhari Muhammad he said mm -hmm. the hour will not come will not be established until the sun rise from the west yeah I heard about that like my sheikh where um, I, when I was learning when I was in Sunday school, my because my, my brother he's like he's an alum. He was telling me that, about this, and but I don't know that that. Uh, and just to make it next? make it clear for you, Muhammad he claimed that the sun goes every day from the east to the west. So Muhammad he confirmed that the sun is the one is moving because it might it might happen in such a way, but maybe mm -hmm. the Earth will change its rotation. But no. Muhammad, he made it clear that the sun is the one is moving from the east to the west, as we see here. And the sun will keep going, doing that, until one day, will ask permission to come back. I don't know if you can see my screen now. It says, once I was with, uh, with the prophet in the mosque, in the time of the sunset, the prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said it goes and prostrate itself under Allah, underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. The sun runs on its fixed course. So Muhammad oh. explained the verse in the Quran, claiming that the sun is the one is moving around the earth. And this is alone is enough to prove Muhammad to be false. Correct? Yeah. And you know, remember here, Muhammad even is explaining the verse in the Quran. So the Muslim cannot say he's wrong. He even mentioned, and this is the explanation for Allah saying the statement, and the sun runs to its fixed course, chapter 36, verse number 38. So mm -hmm. you can, I mean, you, 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 the Muslim, they can say whatever they want, but one, one stupid thing is able to prove Muhammad to be a false prophet. Mm -hmm. If his God crazy. is a true God, you do not know how the sun, uh, you know, the the... The sun said how it happened. Uh, that's obviously he's a false prophet. They did they, they didn't say something. I remember they say something. It's like a shape of a, an egg or something. No, that's false. This is yeah. what uh, yeah. Zakir Naik he said he was copying a kid. He was trying to refute me. He said the Quran says well ardu ba'da He says the word dahaha it means the shape of an egg. But the fact the word dahaha means flat. Have nothing to do with egg. This is false. You can go to the dictionary. And the, and the, what, is, what is it called? Do ha ha? The ha ha. The ha ha. The ha ha. Okay. And this is chapter 79, verse number 30. And this is why even you will not find one Muslim translation saying the earth, after that he made it shape an egg, except the translation of the guy the Muslim killed him, the one who claimed to be a messenger of Allah, uh, what his name? Arshad Khalifa, which is a false translation. If you go and read any dictionary or any translation, 
but we can go right now here we go now we read the interpretation for the verse you will see that this is confirmed that the quran believe or teach that the earth is a flat the haha mean spread it make it flat like you know when uh, when your mother she make a da you know like they have this piece of wood if you know what uh -huh. i'm talking about and she press over the the uh, after she mix the flour with water and she you know uh, she 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 used that that uh, that thing uh, to uh, to make it uh, flat uh, let us uh, go with, uh, oh it's like a, that is like to roll a door or something yeah yeah okay okay 79 so 30 <laughs> Here it says, and after that he spread the earth, and then he spread it. He spread it on the water. This is the interpretation of Ibn Abbas. He spread the earth, not make it a, 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 as a, a, a egg as they lie. It's the opposite. This is Tafsir al Jalali, and after that he spread the earth and he made it flat. Do you see it? Uh, I'm trying to look on YouTube, but I don't want to cause like an echo. Sound. Just uh, mute YouTube. We will be fine. I <laughs> One second, I'm to mute, mute it real quick. Uh, I can do okay. So you see here it says he spread it, he made it flat. So they lie, uh -huh. they lie. And the Quran, many places, says the earth is a flat. Many places, not only this uh, place here. As an example, Allah, He made the earth as carpet. Salt. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Chapter seventy-one, verse number nineteen. And which oh, Tafsir al Jalalain. Allah, He spread the earth. He made it flat. Chapter seventy-one, nineteen. There's many verses. Mihada, Allah, He made it flat too. There's in there. I can. I mean, I can keep showing you. And never, in a, but the Quran never said round or anything that is round. No, no, no. That's the opposite. No? It, it, it cannot be round in the same time as flat. Yeah. yeah you, you cannot say this and that. I have one, you know, one of them have to be true. The rest is, is false. Uh, chapter 20, verse number 53. He made the earth for you spread out flat. Tons of verses. Hmm. And not to forget uh, the Quran, make a contradiction, which one was created first, the stars or the mountains or the mountains or the trees. It, it's uh, very horrible. Or the, the, the man, uh, the sperm is coming from the backbone. Yeah, I, I heard of that. I've heard, I heard about that too, the sperm. You know, I want you, and also I want you to check anything I say. Don't listen to me. I mean, maybe yeah, this guy right. is trying to fool you, right? Yeah. Maybe this guy, mm -hmm. Christian Prince, he wanna make. Uh, maybe uh, he wanna make money. Hmm? Yeah. So check anything I say. Even though what what money I will make from you? Nothing. Are you paying me? No. Are I charging you for talking <laughs> to you? No. I don't even know who you are. So, anything I say, this is my advice to you, and not only me, anyone. Go check it. Study it search it and find the truth if i am showing you the truth and I, as you see i'm showing you your, your own islamic website well it's mean he's saying the truth well which is islamic website is this anyone doesn't matter okay. this is quran.com i'm using and the other one is a tafsir this is the egyptian uh, sorry the uh, the government of jordan owned by the king of jordan himself mm. tafsir Jalalain is you know it can be found anywhere Jalalain is yeah. not a Christian, right? Yeah, so who okay. cares? No, there were, I, I know. Doesn't matter which oh, yeah, website. Doesn't matter which yeah. website. This is a Jalalain. You know, go get a Jalalain. You know, get Ibn Abbas, get Al Qurtubi, get Al Tabari, get Ibn Kathir. Huh? <clears throat> yeah. But the, the thing I had, I had like a little, like when I was watching one of your video about, uh, I think Surah Al Ahzab talks about uh, one of the verse. I think I'm not, what, what verse is it? Uh, Inna Allah wal malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah. I checked the translation and the 
translation, like like the one I got is like kind of off with the other with my sister. I was like trying to compare it's like, and then I know you saw Loon. I I I kind of study Arabic a little bit. You saw Loon mean they pray, like referring exactly. To, they pray, but I don't get the translation. They say something sending blessing upon us, blessing. Yeah, this. Yeah, but it doesn't mean. But, but think about that's it. That's the the main thing that I was like really confused about. Like yeah, no sir, think about yeah, it. Yeah, sending blessing. Who is the one who will make a blessing? God, right? Yeah. Okay. If Allah is a blessed, blessed Muhammad already, what is the need of the rest of the blessing? <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? The thing that doesn't make the the, the angels, the, and then one in some translation say they didn't mention the the angels at yeah, all. Yeah, they took I it was, off exactly because 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 out, it, yeah. because that, this is the only way to make it look nicer. But yeah. but if uh, if Allah he if Allah is God and He blessed me, who care about the rest? <laughs> You know what I mean? This is this is, uh, this is shirk, though. You know like, exactly. This is shirk. You are associating the angel with God, and saying that both they do the same. And if Allah He sent the blessing already to Muhammad, what more blessing mean? There's more blessing. Is that like by kilos? Either you are yeah. blessed or you are not. <laughs> and then the, and then the next verse too. He said, "Oh, you who believe, pray." Exactly. Him. You know. He was asking even the, the, the Muhammad, he became the center of the universe. I, I'm, I was shocked with this. Verse. Yeah, because was, he knew. Like when I saw, when I, I was even like, I remember reciting this all the time. Like, you know, it's like a, the most important <laughs> like verse, yeah. you know, like I will recite all the time. I didn't know what it really mean. Like, you know, I, I was re researching the translation and stuff and you know, I say sending blessing and stuff. So you know, I, I'm I'm just really shocked. I'm I'm re really shocked right now. Like, you see, based really on uh, based on this verse, uh, <clears throat> Muhammad he stole God. He took God. Mm -hmm. You know, he became mm -hmm. God. So there is a God. There is people. There is angels. There is genies. There's many creatures. And there is a guy, his name is Muhammad. And he is standing in the middle. This guy, Muhammad, is the center. So Allah is sending a blessing, according to the translation, which is false. It says, you salli, which means we pray. Mm -hmm. The angels mm -hmm. are doing the same, praying on Muhammad. The people are praying on Muhammad. The earth and heaven is praying on Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Muhammad is God. So even God himself is exists for the sake of Muhammad. I don't know if you know the hadith where it says, hadith uh, lawlaka, you know the lawlaka hadith? No. If not you, Muhammad, I, I would not create the earth and the heaven. You do not know it? Not really. I don't really study hadith a lot. But oh, you should you there, should read but... this one. It's really it's really fun. It says that Allah He said, "If not you, Muhammad, I would not create mankind, neither the heaven, neither the earth." So everything created because of Muhammad. Muhammad is the center of the universe. So imagine this galaxy is this a huge sky, you know, space, billions of stars, everything. Everything is focusing on Muhammad. And Muhammad is busy doing what? Playing with his testicles. <laughs> the God, he said to him, any woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. So now, sir, what do you think, my friend? Aren't you going to leave Islam today? Uh, one, one more uh, how about like I know I, re I, w I remember watching the other video about who I had like one of what, what do you mean by one of I know they say a lot of translators say one he's the, the one or what, what you need what to do, you do? Mean, like one one of what what is that supposed to mean like uh, uh, or what you need of. to do uh, now sir you can go to the uh, search engine and type the word ahead type it we're on Google or? No, in, the, in this website, any website have Quran. Type it in Arabic. Ahad. What you will find? I will, I will type it in the front of your eyes. Ahad. I just type it there. Mm -hmm. Choose any verse. 
the word Ahad appear, it's going to say, he did not like this one, Harut and Marut, they did not teach anyone. Ahad does not mean one, mean anyone. The second you oh. say Ahad, you mean one off. Chapter 2, verse 136, as an example. And we don't differentiate between any of them. Where is the word Ahad? Here. Non distinguish between any of them. This is Ahad. Any of them. This is Ahad. This is translation for the word Ahad. This is the word Ahad in the left. See it? Mm -hmm. And this is a translation in the right. Any of them. Ahad does not mean one. Ahad means one of them. So when the Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, is one. But one of many. Oh, that's insane. That's... Wow. <clears throat> it can't be, because, you know, it's, uh, even the sentence doesn't make sense. He did not use the word wahid. He used the word ahad. And there's different. Wahid means one. Ahad means one off. So, so the, the, with the list, it's like, it changes. It, it, it mean exactly. Self, right? Wahid, wahid. I will type in both one. for you. We should hear the word Ahad in front of us. There is no need to type it in front of us. And I will type the word one, which is Wahid. Switch to Arabic. And this is Wahid. This is one. Ahad is not one. Ahad is one off. And you can search the word Ahad in all over the Quran. Just copy it as we showed you here. Put it in the search engine mm -hmm. and check every single verse. And you will see every single verse says one off, one off, except the verse you mentioned, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Secondly, why you want to use even the word ahad if you just said huwa? <laughs> huwa mean he is. Isn't it enough to say he? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, if, yeah. he, if he is many, we don't see use the word he. <laughs> so you just said he, and then you say one. Well, you just said he. He is Ahad. He is not one. He is one of. One of what? Muhammad, he was trying to copy the Jews. The Jews don't use the word uh, wahid. They use the word ikhad. Echad. Echad means one as unity, not one as a person. So the Bible says the man and the wife and, the, and, the, and his wife, when they get married, they become echad. They become one, but not one as number. They are two, right? They are male and female. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So echad. The Bible says, Oh Israel, your God is Echad. The same word used, the male and the female, they become one, Echad. Echad does not mean one. As number, Echad means unity. You became united, or they are united. And this is all over the Bible. Man, this is this is crazy. I'm like I'm like speechless. I I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, I am here to help you, and yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, uh, you see, uh, uh, Muslim, they think I'm here to make fun of them. In fact, I feel sorry for them. I mean, they spend their life wasting their life, their resource, their their nerves. They get angry. And they they want to defend Muhammad, but they are defending a false cult. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, how, how about this one? I know I'm I'm like really I'm like against like war or something like that. I'm like I'm not for war or whatever. But when I was like when I remember when I was in like a an uh uh alum class or Sunday school, I think it's Sunday school when I was young, like this I remember my Ustad told me that, you know, like Muslim spread. I know. I know. He said the truth. He said spread through through sword. You know, like, 
and he said the 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 disbeliever are are, are a lot, and the and then the the Muslim are like a little bit, like a little. You know the army is like a little bit, and then they be the the miracle of it. They did be able to defeat it. I know I I'm like against like jihad or anything. I'm I'm against it, you know. But it seemed like when he was talking about that, it seemed like why they're winning, you know. Like why they I know are, they they took why they are winning. The, 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 yeah, why they're winning? Like they they started a small amount, a small number of army of Muslim versus like a big number of you know the the. The disbeliever. No, actually, you know, you see, this is not really the reason. First of all, Muhammad almost was defeated. If you go and read about Muhammad's war with uh, Musaylama, you will see that Muhammad almost lost the war totally. Secondly, when Muhammad he went to Tabuk, as an example, to fight the Roman, he failed. When Muhammad, there's there, there's Badr al-Kubra and Badr al-Sura, two Badr. So Muhammad, he failed many times, and almost he was defeated. Let us say Muhammad, he was lucky, you know? And when it was the Roman and the Persian, the Roman, they were fighting the Persian for the last 300 years, nonstop. So when Muhammad, he came, both they were exhausted. So like now, let us say the, the Russian now, they are fighting the Ukrainian. If this war continue for 300 years, what do you think will happen for both? 300 years, right. not three years. What will happen? Both, they will be exhausted. They will be out of men. So Muhammad, he came in a perfect time where both the Roman and the Persian, they were exhausted. They are out of resource. They don't even have enough men to fight no more. Even though the Roman, they were victorious at the end, but they are, they are demolished. Your yeah. kingdom is demolished. So Muhammad, he came in a time where everything is ready for him. The Roman are demolished, the Persian are demolished, and everything was nobody nobody is there to stop him oh yeah because i was reading the conquest of the sahaba it's like I, they don't translate it but they one there's of a the, lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, fiction as an example when i remember when i was in the middle east they taught us once in the book of the history that when uh, in the fight of al yarmouk there was ten thousand muslims and there's five hundred thousand roman who in the world want to believe such a story? Yeah, that that uh, yeah, the digit is like five hundred thousand like... <laughs> against ten thousand. And look, the Quran itself says, Muhammad he said that one hundred of you can fight against one thousand. Do you remember this verse? Which one? What he said, one hundred of you with patient can overcome one thousand. And then they went to war and they lost. And then Muhammad, he changed it. He says, Allah, now he just found that you have a weakness. Chapter 8, verse number 65, verse number 66. So he told them, one can fight 10. They went and they lost. When they came back, they were so upset because he did lie to them. He said to them right away, well, Allah lighted your task now. He knows that you have a weakness in you. So if you, 100 steadfast person they will shall overcome 200 so look what happened allah he promised them 100 can overcome 1000 that's mean muslim can fight 1 to 10 correct mm -hmm. allah by the end of the day he changed it from 1 to 10 to 1 to 2 <laughs> And Nasser, I want to ask you, if God, he promised you victory, even if you are fighting Russia alone, don't you think that's enough to win? Man. You know what I mean? The Bible yeah. says, if God yeah. is with me, who could be against me? If God is my side, who care? The American, the Russian, all the NATO, they, can, they, will, they will lose. Because simply, I have God with me. So, if this is a true God, he promised them 100 can fight 1,000, they lost. Then he changed it. Why? Because he just noticed that they have weakness. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? Don't Allah knew the weakness from the beginning? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's the point of the war to in, the, in the beginning. I don't know. No, it's just but... to encourage them to kill. You know, just fooling them. 
go, 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 yeah. just go, go, you know? And yeah. when he, uh, his prophecy come to be false, actually in that story yeah. here, if you read it, Muhammad, he saw a dream that the Muslim, the, the, the disbelievers will be way less. When they went there, they found way more. So he, the, his, his vision was a, a false. <clears throat> so what do you think, Nasser? Are you going to stay as a Muslim, my friend? Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, it's it's. I know. There's. A, I've been watching a, a lot of your video, and I've been check been checking it too. Like on like Bukhari and stuff, and Al Jalalain and stuff. All that source, and it, it said it. You know, like I'm. I'm like. I'm just shocked. Even I pointed out to one of my wife about uh, Zuru Kernain, uh, Surah Al Kaf about mm -hmm. the sunset in the muddy pool and i pointed out i didn't argue i just pointed out say hey what is it told my wife say, hey what did this like read this verse you know like what do you think it means but i know like i, I watch your i watch your video you, when you explain about jerking uh wajada uh, he found it you know and I, I remember my brother i was trying to point out to my brother too because my brother know more about uh islam and he 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 used dark uh darker night Saying that it's the time of Maghrib, but I, I, I know, I know Wajada he mean he found it, you know, he found like there's like a stopping point or something like that. Like I can't remember what the verse say, but like I, you know, it just that, like, yeah. threw me uh, off. Yeah, but Wajada, I mean, he found it. That's it. That's all. It's mean he found. You know, it's mean it's this is a find. It's not what he thought. Yeah, he thought. Yeah. You thought see, it, the Muslim they're saying that who, as if. Yeah, like this, they say the Quran is made by perfect Arabic. But if this is yeah. true, then why you are adding words to the verse to make it look or sound different? If the Quran says wajadaha, and if you claim the Quran is made by perfect Arabic, then there's no need for you to add he thought in his perspective. Where it says that? Nowhere in the verse says that. And even the Hadith says that Muhammad, he explained it, he told his uh, one of his disciples or his companion, "Do you know where the sun set?" He said, "Where?" He said, "In a boiling water." And the hadith in front of us. Let me check in and see. Sahih, right? This is the hadith. Yeah, this is Sahih. And here we go. I will show you. Sahih in chain. Sunan Ibn Dawood, Abi Dawood. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah was riding, riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. And you see here, the Muslims, they are committing shirk. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Right? It's a shirk. Mm -hmm. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Hamia yeah, is not so warm, really. Hamia well, means boiling. Saying, Muhammad is saying this, right? Yes, this he's, is Muhammad. Saying... Yeah. Muhammad, yeah. I was sitting behind Mr. of Allah, who was riding a donkey. He said, he asked, do you know where this is set? It's in front of you, and this is Sahih. And this is the reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Muslims, in order to get away from this, they will say we will reject this hadith. So now we have the Quran saying that, we have the hadith saying that, and still they try to fool us. Mm. So what do you think, Nasser? Come on, after all of this, still you want to be a Muslim? How about one, one more, one more, like, I, I, <laughs> I'm just shaking right one now. One more, one, okay. One more. Uh, okay, um, there's, I know there's like a hadith about Hassan. Is, is, is it really true that he, Muhammad, like, tongue-kissed Hassan? I, I remember, I, I remember seeing this, seeing this video somewhere, but I, I can't remember, but I want to know if it's this, this is like Sahih, like Muhammad uh, went to like a market or something, and then he saw Hassan. I'm not Hassan, he, like he's like the, a little boy. Is, the, the, actually, boy. today we made a video, and uh, uh, he he used uh, he 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 sucked his tongue. Yeah. This is the one you are talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the hadith in uh, 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 Musa Ahmed says. Uh, I saw the messenger of Allah. Uh, uh, he was uh, sucking the tongue and the lips 
of Al Hassan. And I can search uh, for the reference and show it to you right now. Um, like, I even asked my brother about this. I, I remember screenshot it, but I had to delete all my the screenshot. And because due to like my family, like, you know, after I questioned the Quran, my, uh, you know, it kind of like, it, 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 it kind of makes like my, my family become like, or like, I'm saying like, you know, they threatened me, you know, like they threatened me as like, I will leave you. And, and my brother said, don't show this to anybody like you know Allah knows best that's yeah, his Allah answer best. this is a hadith in front of me it says here it's reported by uh, uh, Abu Dawood what Turmudi when Nisa, when uh, let's see this one I'm gonna see this one here reported by Musnad Ahmad it says رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يمص لسانه أو قال شفته. Let us use Google Translation. So they don't translate this or something? Like this, uh, this I one? I don't have don't... it in English. I'm using the Arabic website. And this is Islam.web. And this is the fatwa number. Doubt about the Prophet. My God bless him and grant him uh, peace. Kissed Al Hussein and Fatima and respond to her. So he is asking question. He have a doubt about Islam now. In a Christian website, they mention the message of Allah. Allah pray on him. Uh, he was a pervert because he was sucking the tongue of Al Hassan. You see the question. This is the translation by Google. And here mm -hmm. the answer. And they are quoting the Hadith. So they confirm it. It's, it's there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Prophet, he sucked the tongue of Al Hassan. Why why uh, why he would do such a thing? Why why a man, even if you is even if it's your son? Yeah, it, it's disgusting. Like do you do, do anyone suck the tongue of his own son? What is that? I even asked my brother about this. Like, this is like a big problem. Like, I asked my brother about this, and he said, Oh, he's Give is like a blessing or something. I was like, what? I was really shocked, you know, like, like See, that we are a human like too. You, we are not coming from yeah. a different galaxy. We are a yeah. human and we know what makes sense and what does not make sense. We know what is right and we know what is not right. Doesn't matter even uh doesn't matter what what uh, what ethnic you are coming from or which nation you are coming from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it time to say I'm out of Islam, my friend? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, like, like I, I after seeing all of this hadith and stuff, and yeah, well, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. What do you think about accepting Christianity, accepting Christ in your life? I, I for Christ, I, I need to read about it. Like, I need, I need to read about it. All right. You yeah. know, I, uh, you can call me anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like to ask questions about uh, Christianity, uh, now you are not a Muslim. Let us say you are free from all uh, the garbage of Muhammad, and we are happy for you. And I will ask the Christians now here to pray for you and your family too, to see the truth. Uh, you are welcome anytime to, to contact me when I'm going. Uh, you know, I, I open Skype only when I'm live, just take a note. So if you okay. see me not live, mm -hmm. my Skype is off. I don't use Skype unless I'm live. It's just hard, like, you know, I had to keep everything like a secret because my whole family is the most You know that you're alive, right? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they don't know. They don't. I know I shouldn't. I sh yeah, but I just need to keep this as uh, just like low key right now because I know I don't want to cause any drama or anything. It's just, I just want to know, like, is this. Is this true? You know, like, like when you're showing me all of this, it's it's just it's just too it's just sad. It's really sad. Well, I mean, it is more sad if you stay in it because you will waste yeah. the rest of your life worshiping a false, you know, God, following a false prophet. That will be way more sad, and then you end you losing your salvation. 
because you are not following the true God. So it is, it's not a sad for you, actually. I believe it's a, uh, I believe that today is a new start for you. And uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a good turn. What is missing now, you know, take your time to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Feel free to contact me anytime. You can call me. And I will be happy to help you about uh, about Christ to know Christ. But uh, if you if you ask me, you know, just think about it. If there is better name you know you heard of, his teaching is better yeah. than the teaching of Christ. His ethic is better than Christ. You see, look, we and Muslims we debate about if Jesus can be God or not. But do you know what does that mean? That means he's so good to the point. That either we are Christians who are confused to think of him, he is God, he's a, he's a man, because he's so good, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We are not thinking of Jesus if he is a prophet or not. We are, you know, we are debating, is Jesus God? But this is telling you how good he is. How high the quality. At the same time, we are talking about Muhammad sucking the tongues of babies. You see how huge a difference? So, even when the Muslims they say the Christians are lost when they worship Jesus, but shouldn't you ask yourself why the Christian worship Jesus? The Quran says he is a creator. He create from the mother bird. He made the blind see. He resurrect people from death. He healed any any sick. So what is left? And he is holy. Chapter nineteen, verse nineteen. And he is in heaven. So. If a Christian, he don't want to believe that Jesus is God, well, all those things will force him to believe in God. But if, if the Muslim says to me that those miracles God, he gave him to make him a prophet, well, Allah is a stupid then, because he failed. It ha what happened the opposite. Because he have all this power, Jesus is God for us. If Jesus cannot resurrect people from death, if Jesus cannot create, if Jesus cannot forgive sin, if Jesus cannot control the nature, if Jesus cannot heal the leper, if Jesus cannot make the blind see, if Jesus cannot make the one who, can, who cannot walk, walk, no Christian will believe that Jesus is God. Do, do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah. So all those miracles made Jesus God, did not make him prophet. You will find that not a prophet, any of them, he have what Jesus have. So, even in this Islam, is crazy. Even the Quran will push you to believe that Jesus must be God. And if the Quran says this is by the leave of Allah, that is more silly. Because why Allah, he gave such a leave that somebody else, he will be creator beside him. Is it the Quran says that Jesus can create from the mother bird by the leave of Allah? Does that mean that Jesus become a creator? Why the God, he share his power of a creation with a man? To prove what exactly? If you want to prove that this man is a prophet, he failed. That made him God. That made him a creator. Because God is the creator. And the creator is God. So the second Jesus announced to be creator in the Quran is the same second Jesus become God. So the Quran is a book of failure and stupidity. And this is why my friend, I, I invited him to I, accept I, Jesus. I, I know, I know, uh, I know. There's one that the Quran was confused about uh, Maryam, uh, Maryam uh, Jesus, and there's a uh, Maryam. I don't. I, I remember talking to my Christian friend about this. That he said there's two different Maryam, but the Quran said it's all they're one. Yeah. And like Imran. Yes. I don't know. Is it so, actually know, is actually outside? the Muslim? They tried to defend it. Uh, uh, because, you know, uh, a Jewish rabbi he came to Muhammad. His name is Kabul Ahwa, and he mm -hmm. said to Aisha. There is a, there's hundreds of years between Maryam, the sister of Aaron, and the sister, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. They are not the same. So Muhammad, after he learned that, he tried to fix it. Uh, and he said they used to call them by their great prophet. But Maryam, she is not the sister, she is not from the tribe of Aaron or Moses. And Moses was the greatest prophet, not Aaron. Same time, the Quran have a bigger mistake. If you go to chapter 3 uh, in the Quran, what is the name of the chapter you remember? Ali Amran. Correct? Ali Amran, yeah, yeah. Okay, what Ali Amran? 
Who's that, Imran? I, I, that's the thing, like, Imran, like, who... I don't know who's Imran. <laughs> that's the Imran, thing, like, It's like, there's a verse the, that talks about Imran. Imran. Imran is the father of Moses. Oh. So the stupid Muhammad, he thought that Imran is the father of Mary, the father of Aaron, the father of Moses. So Muhammad, he was able to fix that one about she is the sister of Aaron, but it was too late here because already he made yeah. a verse in the Quran saying that Imran is the father of Maryam. Maryam, the one that, that Jesus, the uh, mother of Jesus. The mother of Jesus. And this is false. Oh. And actually, in the Bible, it's not Amran, that's, that's, it is Umram. You could not even call that him is, correctly. Yeah, that is, that is a big mistake right there. Yeah, the, the, the whole Quran is, is made by an idiot. You know, you say you get lucky. An idiot who got, he won the lotto. <laughs> a, a fool. <laughs> this is why I always say, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? No. So, so who's the other Ma Ma Maryam? Maryam, not the mother of Jesus. There's another Ma yeah, Maryam. Yeah, the, the sister of Aaron and Moses. Aaron. Have a sister. Her um, name is Maryam. Different, they're different, and they're different generation, right? Different. There is, uh, there is uh, centuries between them, you know. Because oh. <laughs> this this verse talk about Isa, you know, his life, his I think his lifestyle, you know, Isa, and then and then when I come when I come across about you know, um, the mother of, you know, Mo Moses or Musa. And I was really confused. This surah made me, like, it's it's real confusing. Like, all, all of them, uh, Muhammad, just... you have no knowledge of anything. Muhammad yeah. is a thief. He's trying to steal from the Jews. And he took from them what he took. So he learned that Maryam is a sister of Aaron. He thought this is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. So he come with that statement. He thought, and because he thought that Maryam is a sister of Aaron, well, obviously her father is Amran. So he made a chapter saying the daughter of Amran. And supposedly, this is Maryam. <clears throat> you see, okay. uh, uh, always a foolish man, uh, he exposed himself in many ways. A foolish man. And Muhammad is nothing but a foolish man. And because now he have a sword, uh, who dare to question him for centuries? The one who questioned him in his time, he killed them all. The one who questioned him after that, they killed them all. Today we are in the age of the internet. If they can kill me, they will. Imagine I'm saying this in Saudi Arabia. You know what would happen, right? And, uh, or in Egypt, I, or in Iraq, or in Syria, or in whatever place. You yeah, know they, what? they, I, I know it, it's. Uh, I even study study this. They say something uh, execution or something. It's like I was shocked about that too. You know, like uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, friend, I'm happy for you, and uh, I will be yeah. happy to receive a call from you any soon, anytime soon. To, to know about Christ, and uh, uh, I will be happy to help you uh, okay. in case you feel like you want to accept Jesus. For us, accepting Christ is about personal life, uh, personal witnessing. It's not about saying Shahada. Nobody cares really if you say, I want to be a Christian or not. This is your personal salvation. I will not win. He will not win. She will not win. It is your win. Because it is your salvation, not mine. So you become a Christian or not, this is your business. But because I'm a Christian, I have a duty to invite you to the truth. For my Lord, he says, read the books, search for the truth, and the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. So this is why, my friend, I'm inviting you to believe in the truth, which is the Messiah, so you can have a salvation in the kingdom of God. And then when you become a Christian, you will be called a child of God. You will not be a servant. You will not be a slave. Not like the Quran says, I created not the, the human and the genie, except to worship me. When they asked Jesus how to pray, he said, pray like this, our Father art of heaven. 
So the second you accept Christianity, you accept Christ, you are a child of God, and God himself is your father. What is a beautiful, what is more beautiful than this? We are not slaves. Our God is a real God. So why he needs slaves? The one who created everything, what is his need for slaves? What is his need for anything? Nothing. Nothing is need for him. Slave, worshippers, who need worshippers? God do not need worshippers. If he is really God, truly God, that is the last thing he care for. What he care for is what the Bible says. For God he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son to save this world. He love, he love us. And God is love, my friend. So this is the only message I can deliver to you before you go. Think about it. Our God is love. And because he loves you, he want to save you, not because he needs you. Otherwise, you believe in him or not, why he will worry. It is your salvation. Anything you want to say, no, sir? Oh, um, well, I'm just, I'm going to, like, look into the Bible and stuff, and, you know, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, I don't know, I'm just speechless right now. I'm just really shocked, you know, like, I just want, you know, I, I've been listening to your video a lot, like what I said, like, and I, I checked the source too, and it's, it's true, you know, and, and some of the, some of the source, like, I, I do, I learned it, but it doesn't, like, bother me until, like, until when I think about it, one, again, when I was watching your video, I was like, oh, did, like, it, it did, now it clicked my mind. I don't know, but I, 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 Maybe I'm interested in learning, but I just got to read it on my own first. and then Take your time. You know, we, you know, we, we, we Christian, yeah. we don't want people to say Shahada. We want believers, you know. We don't yeah. accept fake people to become Christians. We, you know, we have too many of them, actually. You know, we are the biggest, if, if it's about number, we are the biggest belief in this earth, right? But mm -hmm. it's not numbers who will make you right or wrong. Most of them, those people, they don't care for Christianity no more. They are fake Christians. They are Christian by names. There is many. They are drug dealers. They were across. There is prostitute wears cross. There is. They are. They are antichrist actually. So, it's not numbers. It's not saying shahada. The Lord He said that from their fruits you shall know them. So what count in Christianity is not how many people say God God, but how many people they bear the fruit of God. From their fruits you shall know them not from their names and this is why a person like you you sound a smart person you should look for the god who will make you have a good fruit for he will recognize you from your fruit not from your shahada people they lie people they say anything just to you know make pleasure in the in the ears of others like now everything is politically correct everybody is a liar because nobody want to say the truth. The truth is not easy to say. The truth actually is risky. So to be with the Messiah is to be with the truth, not to say Shahada. Most of Muslims who say Shahada, they don't even care for Islam. All what they care is what they promised. Virgin, sex. It says, it is a pervert dream. It's a pervert uh, list waiting for. Otherwise, nobody care for this God. If this God is true God, he will not even promise us such a pro pervert pro promise. Why yeah. I need to have a lot of women in bed if I am with God? What is that exactly? Even God, when he created the first man and the first woman, he created one man and one woman. Correct? Mm -hmm. So how come when we go to heaven, we will not be one man, one one woman at least? I mean, at, 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 at the normal way. He created Adam and Eve. He did not create for Adam, and Adam was in heaven. He did not create one Adam and 72 virgins. One Eve was enough. This is a story, makes sense, because it's taken from the Bible. But Adam and Eve in Islam, they became sexual predators. They became, they have an open, 
uh, appetite for sex. Suddenly, the wife is not enough, the wives is not enough, the hundreds of wives not enough, to the point we have 100 floor in the heaven, and each floor have different reward of sex. Anyway, my friend Nasser, thank you for calling us today. Okay. Thank you. I will be happy to receive a call from you soon right. to answer you about okay. the Bible or to announce yourself as a Christian. Right. Thank you, Christian Prince. Take care. God for, bless you. Uh, thank you. Take care. All right. <clears throat> Uh, this person he says to me you are jealous you don't know what this man is talking about let us call him another Muslim. <clears throat> even though my throat is hurting eh. he posted a comment and he went offline all right uh, guys, I was going to delete this video, but what I will do now, I will make it a private until we cut it off because the rest is not really important. Uh, we are just having a conversation, as you see. Uh, but we will keep this part with our friend here. He decided to leave Islam. So this video will disappear from your screen for some time uh, until the adjustment of the video done to make it short. So we will keep only the last part of this video. All right. So this video will come back in this in the, in my list in the, in YouTube after a few hours, but for now, you will not see it. I will make it private. All right. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. As you see, we offer the Muslim to debate us to challenge us, and they run away. And what I can do more? I mean, I was speaking for many hours today, yet because a Muslim he challenged me, I decided to come back. So I'm today. I think I spoke today for at least 10 hours. At least, maybe. Now it's four hours. <laughs> I spent the whole day, simply. The whole day. Uh, I can say I spoke for maybe nine hours today in three different videos. The one before it, we deleted it. And the one before it, is going to be deleted too and i will keep a part of this video about our friend who called so i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and we'll see you soon again don't forget to join us on patreon if you care and most of you don't and don't forget to subscribe and most of you don't and don't forget to give it a like and most of you don't because we are lazy and we don't care the one who don't care Nobody will care for him. If you don't care for your Lord, for your Maker, why the Lord, the Maker, will care for you? Those who forget him, they will be forgotten. Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 